welcome back to another video. If you haven't guessed yet, today's video is about this brand new device, the Flick Twist. Today, we're gonna set one up to control their large array of natively supported devices. Now, full disclosure, Flick did send me this device to review, but this video is not sponsored, and as always, you are going to get my true authentic opinions on this device. Now, if you ever used Flick buttons, you know that they are reliable, easy to set up, and because of their compact size, you can put them just about anywhere. Now the Flick Twist takes that button functionality and takes it to the next level by adding a rotating dial, which opens up even more options for controlling your devices. Now taking a look at the Flick Twist, you have a circular structure. It's around two inches in diameter with a center button, 12 lights around that center button and a circular ring on the very outside of the device. At the time of this recording, the Flick Twist comes in a white and a black color option. The Flick Twist accepts two AAA batteries, and on the back it has a rubberized ring that allows it to stay in place when you're turning it if it's sitting on a table or a desk. Additionally, the Flick Twist is magnetized, allowing you to simply stick it to any metal surface, and it comes with an adhesive strip for sticking it to any non-metal surface as well. Now, much like the Flick buttons, you can control a ton of different devices such as smart lights like Philips Hue, LifeX, and IKEA Tradfee. You can control music through your Sonos and Spotify. You can run smart home routines, control third-party devices and services, and so much more when you connect it to a Flick Hub. The Flick Twist, however, adds four new features. Smart Dimming, Advanced Dimming, Scene Blender, and Selector. Smart Dimming is a feature of the Flick Twist that allows you to adjust the brightness, volume, or window blind position of your smart home devices in just two actions. Simply choose the parameter you want to adjust and specify the device you wish to manage, Smart Dimming adjusts each parameter individually, maintaining a relative difference between devices. Advanced Dimming works the same way as Smart Dimming, but with many more options. When rotating, you can adjust brightness, color, or saturation simultaneously. Now, the Scene Blender mode allows you to preset up to four different light scenes, and it fades smoothly between those scenes, so you can select just the level in between that fits your mood at the moment. Now here's a cool one. The selector allows you to select up to 12 different things to activate or adjust. You'll be able to temporarily reconfigure the twist to become up to 11 completely different twists by simply using the push and twist function. Adding the flick twist is very simple. Simply make sure that your flick hub is connected to the internet, tap add flick to hub, and hold the center button until it stays added. All right, so now that we had the Flick Twist added to the Flick Hub, let's go ahead and see what we can do with its new features. Today, I'm gonna to set up all four of the functions, one press, two presses, twist, and push and twist. Now, it's worth noting that the Flick Twist is currently not compatible with HomeKit, which is a bummer for me because I'm a big HomeKit guy, but I do have a Chromecast, I do have Alexa, and I do have a Philips Hue set up. The cool thing is, similar to your Flick buttons, you can use the Flick Twist press options to control Alexa routines, meaning I can control most of my lights and devices anyway with the press of the button. With that, let's jump right in. Let's start with a simple thing. We're gonna use the push function, and we're just gonna make that play a scene on our Chromecast. All right, so first of all, we're gonna hit add, and you can see here, you actually have a ton of different options uh, to choose from just no matter or home kit yet um, but like I said because I use Philips Hue and I have Alexa and I have a Chromecast I can use those three for mine so let's go ahead and set that up set up that Chromecast integration and just like that we can push the button to toggle play on our TV Next, we're gonna set up our double push option. So we'll go ahead and go to plus, and we're gonna use it to set up an Amazon Alexa routine so that when I double push the button, it'll run a routine that I have set up in Alexa. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we're just gonna hit Amazon Alexa, and then we're not gonna be able to do anything here. You can read more about the integration, but we're just gonna add. And now we see that we have it set up to trigger Amazon Alexa. So. I'm gonna go out and go to my Alexa app, and I'm gonna go to my routines. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna go to add. We're gonna say when this happens, you're gonna find this under smart home, 
and you're just gonna look through here i think it automatically puts it in here as my flick twist yep so my flick twist double push perfect so when my flick twist double push is pressed save now we're going to add an action and i just want to set it to turn off my video lights just for the demonstration of this so we're going to hit lights and i'm going to go down to nope actually sorry that's a plug i have that on a smart plug called video light and we're going to say power off next and just like that we have that set up so i'm going to save that routine and now when i go back to flick i'll go back into my hub but now you'll see Now you'll see when I double click this, it'll turn my video lights off. And there you go. Go ahead and hit my little flick button right there to turn them back on to set my scene. And there you go. We got a, a double push automation set up. All right, so now here's where it gets really fun. We're going, we're going to set up the new twist function. So we're going to plus, and I'm gonna set this just to control the brightness of my office light. So in my office, most of my lights are Philips Hue. There's a few that aren't. So this will only control the ones that are Philips Hue. And I'm gonna go to my group, studio. I'm gonna hit add. And I'm going to twist this and you'll see it will dim all of my Philips Hue lights when I twist it that way. And it'll brighten them when I twist it back to 100%, so. Now we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced with this next one. So push and twist is a cool feature. It allows you to push the button and twist while you're holding it. And that will, you can do a ton of different things with this. So when you go in here, you'll see you have brightness, color temperature, color, saturation, volume. For now that just controls Sonos speakers and blinds if you have blinds that are compatible with it. And then down here you have advanced dimming, which is one of the features we talked about earlier and I showcased. We have Scene Blender, and then we have Selector. Now, Selector is the one that has up to 11 different device functions, so you can pretty much use that. It's pretty limited in what you can do with it, but if you have a ton of compatible devices, you can use that to set up 11 different twists in one. So we're going to go ahead and go to Scene Blender for this one, and I'm going to set up a few different scenes here. So I have four options, and you'll see essentially what it what it will do is you have 12 3 6 and 9 and if i do 12 o'clock it'll set that scene if i go to three o'clock it'll set that scene so i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to go into 12 o'clock and i'm actually going to choose actions instead of devices because i have some philips hue scenes that i want to control so once i go into philips hue scenes i'll go down to we'll set the 12 o'clock one to Oh, I need to go to scenes. We'll set the 12 o'clock one to, uh, let's set that to edit. So that's my editing mode. I'll add that and I'll go back out. So that's set, you click in there, you'll see it's set. Now we go to three o'clock, same thing. Actions, Phillips Hue, scenes. And let's set this one to read. That just makes my lights a bright, bright, uh, warm color. Now we're gonna go to six o'clock. Actions, Hue, Scenes. Let's set my six o'clock to entertainment and that's gonna dim my lights whenever I wanna watch something. And then nine o'clock, Actions, Philips Hue. Now it's worth noting, I can do any of these actions for anything and I can add multiple. So actually let's do that. Let's go back to my six o'clock and we'll add an action for Chromecast which will toggle play whenever I want to watch something. Oh, I got to choose my thing. All right, so we'll, we'll test that in just a minute. All right, our nine o'clock, Phillips Hue. Scenes. And in my studio, let's choose, let's get fun. Let's choose Miami. That's a fun one. All right, add that. And now we'll save it. And I've got my push and twist, five actions and four scenes. So if I push and twist this, you'll see, you'll see the lights rotating on the dial. Go 
And just like that, we've set up all four functions of our flick twist. All right, so here's my final thoughts on the flick twist. Personally, I love the functionality, the design, and I love the opportunity that this thing provides for controlling your smart home. The simplicity of setup is a major plus for me and the range of options for controlling your smart home is a huge win. You truly have a range of options from simple controls to more advanced and deeper control. It's kind of just up to you on how you want to use it. I love the way you can mount it in different places. You can put it on anything metal without any stick, or if you know where you want to put it, you can always add that adhesive and put it on a wall. So in general, I just love the direction that Flick is going with this device. I do feel like it's lacking some functionality when it comes to platform options, and I'm really hoping for that matter functionality so that I can get it into HomeKit and control my HomeKit home, and just many more options that you don't really have right now with its native support. Now, because most of my devices do work with Alexa and Google as well, I'm still able to control them with this device. I just don't have all of it in HomeKit, which I would prefer. The one thing about the device that I do hope comes in the future is the ability to control Alexa and other devices with that twist function. You can really only do it with the press and double press. You can't do anything with the twist option. And once you get into the advanced options, you can't do anything in Alexa at all. You're kind of stuck to what they support natively. So hopefully that comes in the future as well. All in all, the perfect smart home controller still does not exist, but Flick is getting close with this one. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.